That's a uh, that's a nice one. Low team value chaos. Uh, Hunter, maybe after this one. Um, three hundred and forty k. What team value are we looking, are we uh, talking about, Hunter? Break him forth. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen those on the pitch, to be honest. Cool. Oh, let me get some sounds with this. Clothe Norse. Yeah, that makes sense. Hello. Look, I can fly. Nice. Yeah, I'll receive. Thank you. Let's see. What do we got? Not a lot, of course. So we've got Grotty, who has... Agility 4, which means he can land better. And we've got Brick Farth, who has strong arms, so he can throw better. That makes sense. So they're a real, real uh, one-turner squad. Nurse of Steel helps him throw the... I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and let you pick, uh, Hunter. So they're they're very much a dedicated one turner uh, duo. Nice. So thrower on the ball. Uh, my dirty player is out and my kicker is in, but I'm receiving. That's not good. Other than that, though, this looks pretty decent. Let's see. Nope. We've got our mighty blow here. We can blitz that guy <coughs> from there. No mino. So I block here, then there. Uh, this guy is in a bit of an annoying spot. That's a pity, uh, Monkey G. There, and then a three die on this guy. Right, so this is the center of my logo. Somewhat off-centered, really. Weird. Uh, I think this setup looks pretty decently. Looks pretty decent. But of course, symmetry is <coughs> paramount. Uh, I guess so, Monkey G. It would be in the uh, in the playlist of uh, um, Stunty League matches. That that's good. Thank you. Whoever threw that, much appreciated. Um, wow, I 
didn't think this through, did I? There's no guard here. Silly. Uh, in that case, I could... No. Well, that was silly. Which means I'm going to block this guy without the three die. Which means the ogre is not going to block. That's okay. Fatality. Right. Uh, off to a good start, I'd say. Mm. So, two assists to get a th two die on this guy. If it's a POW, obviously I'm not going to follow up. But on a both down, I could actually pile on this guy. Uh, but not unless it's a stun, I would think. So let's get this guy down center where he can respond to whatever else is happening. Ogar! One, two, three, four, five, six, way to go, Sage. Way to plan out your turn. Very, very good thinking there. I'm not going to foul this turn. kind of like these guys being here, so I'll be there then. That's okay. Mm, this guy can hang back a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six. So he'd be here. Oh, I used my dirty player there already. Pick it up! Yay, sure hands are sure. <laughs> Who's the same person here? No, this looks fine. See, you can go here. And we have our numbers advantage, that helps. Although, of course, he's got two extra players for the price of, well, four, I guess. Um, hi there, super new. So are we am I am I broadcasting an annoying sound here? Is that uh, is that the thing? Hey there Jimmy. Let me see if I can fix that for you guys. <clears throat> is that better? Okay, Ogre's still in one piece for now. Yeah, so that's uh, that's basically the fans from my... Uh, <clears throat> the fans from my uh, video card, uh, which are quite loud. Um, and I can, I can filter them out with uh, VSD host. Wow, this game is not going well for my opponent. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sean. <laughs> so, this is going splendidly. Now would be a nice time to get some boot onto Brick Farth here. Let's see, so I probably need my strength 4 to knock him down. Then I'd also need a guard to assist here, which is okay-ish. Could be the catcher, shall we? Or I could try to pile on. 
but then I need more. So three, four, five. No, I think it will be the strength four who tries to knock brick down, and then. You can make that without. Let's let's secure the ball before we do this. Here looks good. Aetherine can go there. Why would I play humans? Uh, because I like variety. <laughs> yeah, that's worth the reroll. Good. He's still all right. Let's see, he cannot reach this, can he? No. No way. Uh, I'm going to need an assist to remove this, though. So that's going to be the catcher. That's good. Go there. Do not follow. And uh, since my opponent was already kind enough, Well, at least um, at least I didn't get sent off. Well, I'd like to think that uh, that viewers like variety as well, right? But uh, if I'm mistaken, do let me know. <laughs> nice, Diog. Yes. So, my Pomer gets a smack. Fair enough. I would probably hit him too. In fact, if I had bothered to know who was whom, I probably wouldn't have put him there to begin with, but more like here. Oh, Blodge is a thing. Can't touch this. So, I guess he's going to boot the Ogre again. Why not assist, though? That's interesting. Finish him. Well, um, this match certainly has uh, has a very brutal start to it. Uh, let's see if we can expand on that a little bit. No, it's not Morg. It's uh, Brick and Grotty, actually. So Brick is a an ogre who is very good at throwing teammate because he has strong arm and nurse of steel. And um, Grotti is an, a goblin who's very good at landing because he has agility 4. So I probably want to blitz here. But I also want to foul. Hmm. I guess I can blitz this guy, and in doing so, create a bit more room for the foul itself, like here. Careful about positioning and the ball, of course. <coughs> 
there. And then this guy's got strength four. One, two, three. Four, five, six. That's good. That he could reach. So one, two. No, this guy's doing the blitz, of course. That's why I have to assist here, after all. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Gonna put him there. Now, uh, this guy needs to foul. Uh, this is already securing this angle. I cannot get enough assists to, uh, to crowd around completely, so I can be here instead. That's all right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's a pretty steep dodge, and if the foul doesn't cause a turnover, I can move around afterwards. Let's try and do this again. Oh, just a stun. So, we've got this guy. Let's see, if he wants to go here. Oh. Um, there. Cage up. And, yeah, I suppose I want to dodge out. And no, that's not worth a reroll. Uh, this is in Concede Official League, yes, make making. Uh, might be, but usually I think it shows though. No, nope, the injury was a roll of a six. <clears throat> so with dirty player, it became a seven, I think. Really? Seven was enough. Uh, the percentage is how many per per how many percent of the total price has already been donated. I've basically counted uh, everything. Let's get rid of the log here. I basically counted everything that uh, <clears throat> that got donated for my birthday and afterwards. Yes, Diog, I know. It's uh it's it's a very funny situation. It it comes up more often than you think in Stunty League because there's actually uh, a whole race, the gnomes, who have uh Stunty and Thick Skull on their players. Right, so I'm I'm gonna want to blitz this guy, which would involve using the strength guy, who conveniently is located right here. And that helps a ton in getting myself out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six would get me there. Okay, do I have enough guys free to cover that up? Yeah, kind of. Hello. Here. Yes. Let's 
So am I going to foul this turn at all? I'm not so sure. I think I won't actually. I'll just move him there. And then this guy can go here. This is a one dot. It's pretty decent. But I want to cover this angle as well, probably with the garter. Yep. <clears throat> That's good. So to one die or to three plus dodge, I'd say use the one die. And it's good! It is good, yes. Mighty blow is a failure. And then I might as well two die here. I think I've got this well enough under control right now. Yep, good. There. Alright. That leaves me with a lot of control for now. Ah, uh, thank you, Monkey G. Appreciate it. Ooh, he does have block though, but this does not help him a lot. In fact, it creates all sorts of interesting opportunities for me. Oh, uh, I missed that part, uh, Valenia. Thank you. So, chain push options then, huh? Could put him there. Hmm. Let's see. Strength 4 is here, so he's kind of occupied, which means I need more guys to do this, but that's okay. Wait, that's where I wanted to come from, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that was great. No, wait, that's okay. I'm screwing this up tremendously. Wait a second. Um, this is the catcher, so that's not good. I should have blitzed from here, duh. Still not exactly playing my best right now. But I guess I could just go here and do that instead. That's okay. Three, four, five, six, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. But we could still do this, of course, if we're able to get in there, which we can with a go or two. And this is a catcher, what does that matter? Guard anyway. Yep, let's try it this way then. Not my DP guy. Oh, that's a reroll. That's got to be you. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is such a mess. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Diok, that would be uh, that would be true. <laughs> no, that was that was that was deserved, I guess. Greed is good, yes. So I'm going to get my Rookie Blitzer surfed, probably, by Brick and Farth. Could be worse. Could be worse. All I wanted was a push. Hmm.
Well, still got the this this side of the match under control, and of course having three of his players out helps. <clears throat> but this could have gone better for sure. Yeah, that push, exactly. And then So that's okay. And he's fine. I'm not dead. <laughs> yes, a push I got, clearly. Uh, yeah, and this might sting a l Oh, and a one die push! Damn you! Just a KO, alright. Yep, <clears throat> but I'm still, uh. I'm still sort of on top of this. Could be worse. Hmm. Let's see, so many skills on these. <laughs> okay. And what? Oh! He's gonna try that again, isn't he? Last reroll, though. Yep, he is. And the second go is also good. Okay, so that creates a bit of an issue. My guard is out, of course. The easy option would be to just blitz out with the ball carrier, although I, this is a guard, actually. Mm, which gives this one a two die if he stands up. That's not bad. Uh, it's 15 something, I think, uh, Overlordy. So. Half die here would be pretty fun if it weren't for the risk to my ball carrier right now. So I'm not going to, but it's uh, it's something I would... What? Oh, did I... Oh, wow, that was cyanide padding. <laughs> ah, I'm screwing up so much. <laughs> uh, or maybe it was just my passing. Uh, I, it has been a lot of time since I played this badly. Blitz, sure, two dice, just to push though, but he can get another block on here. No more reroll. Mm, he could go here and assist though for the block there. Uh, well, I'd like to think it's not uh, Overlordy. I think I'm still going to win though. Still got two turns. I think it's uh, <coughs> in part switching between Fumble and uh, Blubble 2, and in part switching between view views the uh, icons zoomed out thing, but uh, no excuses. I would really, <laughs> I would really prefer being able to add uh, my own markings. I think just switching between views is uh, a bit of a pain, especially when you've got guys like these standing there. Right, so. Uh, 
guard is still in place, which means I can block here. What's there? Should do, yes. Uh, where does the ogre go? Let's figure that out in a moment. Good enough. Might as well. Finish him. Piling on! Nope. Alright, so this guy cannot get far enough to really bother me. Um, yep, there's... All right. That's a one guy. I'm not going to get that into two, am I? Mm. I could with the catcher, but then he'd be here, which would be pretty bad. Let's get the ogre up here. Uh, no more reroll, so that's that then. One night push attempt. Yeah, the catcher dodge is possible, but then uh, I would be in a very bad place with that catcher afterwards. Nice overlordy. Well, orcs are a team that can do reasonably well, uh, even even when coached by. Oh, that's good. So. Oh, uh, so tempting. Yeah, two dice surf. I guess I shouldn't pass that up, should I? Come on. Yes. No, nope, he's all right. Really, Diog? Wow, that sounds that sounds uh, interesting. Uh, did you win, though? Yeah, turn fifteen concessions are uh, interesting. So, um, I've got two KOs. I think I only had one bench. So that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. No, still got 11 players. Well, they've all got loner. Do I have a kick? Yeah, I do have a kick because I left him out on purpose. Um, so let's see. We've got this guy. Yes, I know. Line of scrimmage. Duh. Thank you. So let's see. The kicker can go here. Valuables go out back, of course. Um, so we wind up with something like this. See you, Monkey G. Yep, 
No, this looks good against our teammate. Basically, the logic here is he could point it in this corner, but then he has a chance of throwing it into the crowd. Or he could put it, point it in the center, but then I've got more tackle zones on his landing. Welcome. Thank you for the follow, uh, Blob Skills. The record with my humans, uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Hi there, Seed. <clears throat> oh, thank you for chiming in there. That's a good idea. He can one turn quite reliably, actually. Uh, except for the part that he needs to get the ball to uh, Grotty. And um, that might not be easy because I have kick. And yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. So you cannot actually do a throw teammate and a pass in the same turn, which means that you need to get the ball to uh, the projectile with a handoff. And um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, that's a pity, uh, Seed. Have you tried Tarts Player? I hear it helps. Oh, we get a guy back. That's nice. I do like the wings on the guy, though. It, it also clearly shows uh, his purpose, basically. Uh, nope, not that one. More like this. Uh, although I don't really want the ogre on the line per se. He's got enough strength to uh, to make that work. Um, <clears throat> I want my kicker here, of course. And I do want my catcher and my kick and my dirty player. That's a problem, isn't it? Because the catcher has guard. If he didn't have guard, I'd just leave him out right now. Hmm... No, maybe the ogre will go on the line then. And then I'll leave out this guy. And swap these guys around a little bit. Oh, I can leave out the thrower, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense than leaving out the catcher at this point. Especially with armor value 8. So then we'd be looking at this setup. Yeah, this works. <laughs> Sage advice brothel. <laughs> nice. There. Let me get some water. <coughs> So he's going for the throw teammate again. Well, all right. Um, <clears throat> I guess so. Blizzard. Oh, and another great kick here. <laughs> It is, uh, Techo, it is. Um, 
I was on the fence between different ones. Um, my my old one is is really dying, and uh, I only had it for two and a half years, and I <laughs> I I wanted an upgrade uh, and not just a replacement, basically. And I do like the idea of being able to multitask while streaming. So basically, to have uh, the OBS and the um, Blubble 2 window and the browser side by side, basically. <clears throat> I think I, I can also do some stuff with. Uh, yes, it is an upgrade. Very much so. So there, there, there was a. Um, I was looking at the uh, the 1080 variety first. Um, could do that, I suppose. Although they'd have to be pretty small to fit the desk uh, with two monitors. So I I was looking at the uh, um, 1080 variety first, which was also 34 inch, just lower res. But then uh, I read a lot of people saying they they went for that and then later regretted not going for the uh, the 1440 variant instantly. I do very much like the uh, the aspect ratio. Right. So that was a very kind um, round of LOS blocks. Let's see, we want one blitzer to go forward and do stuff. Four, six. Yeah. Only had a 34 inches backup, that's interesting. Not going to follow this up for the piling on right now. <clears throat> um, do I outnumber him enough? Let's leave one guy in the back a little bit so that if. Uh, well, just two back, of course. So that if uh, Grotty lands somewhere around here, I can still do stuff about that. Yes, I remember discussing this, uh, as what? Do I want to foul? Nah, not especially. Kick certainly has outlived its usefulness. That'll do for now. Sounds like the uh, 
the video card noise is getting worse. Let me see if I can correct for that. Dual 28, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I don't have anywhere near the room for that. Although, my wife and I have been discussing the possibility of uh, completely uh, redoing the um, uh, upstairs, uh, the, the attic basically, building it out, and then uh, I, I might actually get, a, get an actual studio here. Oh, the throw teammate fails! Oh no! Oh no! Brick! Oh, and the loner fails as well! Oh, well, at least he lands, because he's got agility 4. So that's something. Uh, well, yeah, Blob Skills, I already live under the attic, uh, right now. We have, uh, we, we have our three bedrooms there. Um, but I'm in Holland, so our, our summer lasts for maybe, uh, a week or three. So, no ability to blitz, uh, Grotty. No ability to blitz a uh, brick far enough away that he'll have trouble. But I guess I could... Chain push Grotty away. That looks good. So, you're gonna go and bother him. Nope, you're not. Alright. Alright, have it your way, dude. Seriously. Grumpy. Um, so a guard here then. Stand up this dude. Blitz this guy away. Hmm. If this is merely a push then... Yeah, that's alright. You go there. Um, I'm gonna stay right here actually. Have someone else come in and be there. Now I should be careful because this would let, me chain, let him chain push me off. But this should not. And then I can just crowd more dudes around here. Let's leave uh, Biggles as a safety right now. Just in case uh, I miss something or silliness happens. And you know what? Killer Orc can be ambitious and run one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I think I like it there. That way, if he marks me from this side, I can still dodge out and get far enough. All right. So I think I've uh, I've made it a bit harder for him to uh, to get rid of all of these. Uh, you can still make it actually, because this guy didn't go down. Oh, uh, not anymore though. You'd need to get a guy down here, and that's not going to happen. <coughs> no, we don't get a lot of mosquitoes, or... Oh, wait, this is not about here. Finland. That's a good description, uh, DL, yeah. Yeah, no, but we live in the attic, but we have a, a, a 
a uh, triangular shaped roof basically and oh yes very good to try and correct in a mirrored view right and what we're basically planning on doing is building it out like this uh, which creates a hell of a lot more room because your floor space doesn't actually increase but your uh, walking space does so where we now have three rooms upstairs um, we could turn that into four uh, with a small hallway and some uh, some room for uh, washing machines and stuff and then uh, probably also add a rooftop terrace which seems pretty damn appealing for those couple of weeks of summer so that's uh, that that's the consideration there and um, my wife likes the idea that uh, my my blood bowl would no longer take place in our living room basically No, just a stun. Is but a scratch. Yeah, he looks cool. Bit a uh, bit of an ape. Uh, well, it's basically one big space uh, super new. It includes the kitchen and the living room. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this could chain push him off. Oh, that would need him to dodge, though. That's kind of bad. Uh, or accept that he's not the one who's going to do this. Which is fine. I'll just do it with uh, Aetherine here. Yep, that's good. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, that's not actually good enough, is it? Oh, it doesn't make a whole right there. Yeah, it does. So let's see, we've got two guys, and one of them's got poem and block, and the other just has nothing. So here goes. Bum! What's that you say? Stunned? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe he is stunned. Nope, I don't want to reroll that, thank you. Hmm, not the best of spots. These are all warriors. Hmm. I guess I could try this half down and just see how it goes. Oh, well, yes, <laughs> I guess I could. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somehow I don't fancy going for a 3 plus, 3 plus, 3 plus here. So he's just going to stay where he is for now.
the chaos team is uh, dead set on trying to make <coughs> Grotty fly and uh, I've been trying to kill Grotty in the meantime and uh, that matter is as of yet unresolved but as long as he's stunned he's not flying anywhere I guess so that's good <clears throat> wow, um, glad to be learning all of this stuff to be honest. Yeah, so where is he gonna go? I mean, these guys are all prone, that's they're not an immediate threat. This guy is, though. This guy is a good threat to anyone, anywhere. Right, so... Ideally, I want to chain push this guy off. That's just not going to cut it. I guess I could do another dodge there, though. Better. <clears throat> Since he's got um, agility 3, dodges are normally not better than goes. Except if he's in the snow, in which case it suddenly is. You're just going to stand up. Who's going for the pickup, though? This guy? Nah. This guy is in the way of the blitz. He needs to go no matter what. These guys are just going to stand up. So is this one. So let's see. Oh, the guy who blitzes should pick up, of course. Oh, and the dodge skill does it. So now he can go and do this. Chain push. We'll need a uh, a 3 plus go, though, afterwards. But he is still the best candidate for the pickup, I'd say. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, let's reel that. Thank you. Oh, and that's excellent. So we've got a bit of a hole here, but this helps a bit for now. Right, that went well. I'm gonna go ahead. And remind him that he still has a player out there who Well, wow, all this discussion about <coughs> provinces in Scandinavia, or, well, Finland's not technically Scandinavia, is it? Uh, there's, I've, I've heard discussions about that. Uh, really make me want to play uh, Crusader Kings again. So... The blitz on the ball, then. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> Just look at these ogres. <laughs> oh, thinking, thinking. Yeah, sure, Mintios. Uh, as, lo as, as long as it's relevant to either Blubble or the... the Discussion at hand, no problem. 
<laughs> that's uh, that's a good description, Valenia. Yes. Hey, look, he woke up. Ah. So close. Well, I guess it is as it is has become my de facto ball carrier now. This guy is blocked, right? Yeah. Well, surely not everything uh, super new. Rats, this guy is very much in the way. If I succeed in the pickup, I want him move, but if I fail, I'd rather have him here. I think you're just going to stand up then, unfortunately. I should consider what to blitz, though. Probably this guy. No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick up, come on. Yes, okay. Too bad this guy didn't go down, though. That would have helped a ton. <clears throat> so many options, so many options. No, I think I need this guy here. Otherwise, he's going to blitz with him. Um, okay, that's good, that's great even. There, and here's okay. Unfortunately, this is not enough of a gap that I can get through. Let's see about the dodge. Oh, it's good. And then here, I guess. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and it's good again. Wow, this catcher is really... It's funny because uh, the fact that they have armor 8... <coughs> well, um, it, it's, it's largely because they quite often don't really matter that much, right? The fact that he has armor 8 makes it easier for me to take those risks, though. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the whole confirmation bias thing. Yep, one third of the times. But it feels like it. I, I know the feeling. Yeah, and in this case, um, uh, the the choice was between making uh, or for the catcher, for instance, the choice was between making a three plus uh, go or a three plus um, <coughs> dodge with reroll. Well, it's not exactly secure. But it's, well, actually, no, it's not secure. But he decided to blitz my catcher, which helps. I did very much like how he was able to get in the way there. It's funny how we've both abandoned the whole foul fest after a couple of turns of failures. Alright, fair enough. 
Still spending a lot of time on the ground here. My opinion on TV++, um, I don't, I don't object to the goal of it. I, I do very much object to some, a lot of aspects actually. So I think the idea of trying to make every game, uh, exciting is, is a good idea. Do I want to? Nah, nah, that's okay. But the the problem is that um, the problem is that they'll they'll heap it all together in one big pile. So um, that's a big issue for mash making, especially. So I don't think my opponent's going to score, but I'm not safe here by a long shot. So could one die this, two die that. This seems good. Mark those I can. Much as I'd like to, I'm not going to poem Grotti uh, this turn. <clears throat> um, the unlimited wizards part, I don't. It's it's not going to be relevant. They're not going to do that. I don't believe it. Um, that's, that's part of, uh, uh, Voodoo Mike's logic, and, uh, to be honest, I think it's also faulty logic on his part. Um, so I, the, the Unlimited Wizards part is really not that relevant. It's, um... Two, three, four, five, six, yeah, it's not that kind of easy. This just leaves a gaping hole down there, so that's not an option. So it'll have to be here. And then this guy can try and put there. Oh, he makes it. And then I suppose I could want, could even two, four, five, six, seven, eight, go here. Yep, very nice. Uh, which makes these two the biggest threats. Um, which I could best offset by being there. And I'd say that's even worth a reroll. So the thing is, they're they're describing situations where uh, you would get like six wizards. But the thing is, inducement differences are are not going to be that high at all. And even if they are, that means you're playing against someone very very bad at the game. The the whole idea is that you only give as many handicaps as people need. And the goal the goal there is um, simply to give everyone an equal chance at a win. And defining how good someone is is not no longer defined by how often they win, but rather by uh, how many handicaps they can take on while still suffering. while still suffering from um, uh, so basically how how much handicap you can take on while still managing to get uh, a 50 percent win rate I think I think that has a lot of potential provided there's no griefing provided there's no conceding and uh, uh, provided you have enough matchup pool. So, Dode has already voiced the concern about the matchup pool, which is why we're moving from instantaneous matchups to uh, uh, draws like in the box, so you get five minute intervals. 
I think it's five minutes, but it could be longer, I don't know. So instead of having only uh, uh, the immediate matchup, which we do now, uh, we instead get uh, uh, better matchups because of a longer interval. <clears throat> I don't think it will do multiple... Um, I don't think they'll allow multiple wizards. I would be very surprised. But that's that's not what this discussion is about. My problem is that um, when I'm faced up against a noob, I I will basically play up a million in real team value, but instead... Okay, that's good information. I didn't read that yet. So, my problem is that uh, if, if the, the algorithm is going to match only on team value plus plus, then it's going to uh, match good coaches against new coaches with uh, <sighs> with a ton of inducements rather than trying to match the good coaches with the good and the bad with the bad and that's that's something i think is a real major oversight right there <clears throat> is there a point in installing this not really although he has a one turn option of course but i can uh, i can guarantee the win at least So switching to five minute pools should result in uh, a lot fewer skewed matchups. That's that's something. Well, there is player preservation because you're not fielding anyone in the line scrimmage, but I have enough Ricky Lyman for that anyway. So like I said, rookie lineman. Yes, very good. And let's just do the anti thing. Well, um, the box matchmaking was a lot better than the uh, uh, cyanide one. <coughs> Yeah, if I were designing it, I would definitely put in caps somewhere. Right, this setup looks uh, very familiar, because it's the same as last time. Um, I guess I'd rather lose the Ogre than the Strength 4, so let's do it like this. That way, if a Throne Rock kills someone, it's not going to be him. And that's good enough. Yeah, it's, it's 30. It starts at 15. It starts increasing at 15 and then gradually increases. Oh, touchback. That might help. Special play cards are funny. The, uh, the, the, the um, Dirty Tricks ones are pretty good. Well, no rerolls, but they have loner anyway. Come on, dude. You can do it. Let's use a cinematic camera angle for this one. Go, Grotty! He goes, he flies, whee! And he lands. 
Oh, just a couple of dodges and a couple of goes, and no more snow. No more snow. Ah. <clears throat> so let's get rid of that camera angle. Um, can I blitz this? I've got a reroll. Might as well. Hmm. How are we doing star player point wise? Anyone? I guess Buster Hemo should pass because he gets. Uh, if he gets an MVP, then he's ready. So, pick up! Buster Hemo, come on, dude! Do it! Do it! No! No! Oh! Oh! Ouch, quick draw. <clears throat> I can remember um, the very first time I had uh, an Agility 4 Goblin. Um, he lasted for a couple of turns and then my troll ate him. <laughs> That was uh, that was very sad. Oh, good winnings. I don't think this team especially needs them. Velenik got the MVP. Oh, Grotti got the MVP. Oh, and he's not a player. Yes, of course. All right, so do we have skills? I don't think so. Oh, we can actually see in the last window, of course. Nope. Uh, right, so much for the humans for now. <clears throat> 